Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. And I'm Liv. With Election Day tomorrow, we're going to cover all you need to know. More, af more with this after news. Today, the global death toll from the COVID-19 pandemic topped 5 million, less than two years into the crisis, and is now the third leading cause of death globally. Together, the United States, the European Union, Britain, Britain and the Brazil account for nearly half of all reported deaths, but only one-eighth of the world population. The U.S. has recorded the most lives lost than any other nation at 7,400,000 deaths. Yesterday morning, a man was shot in the face and a woman was shot in the leg. The shooting occurred in the 800 block of Oak Street. The police responded to the shooting at 4.20 a.m. The man and the woman were both taken to Upstate Hospital and they are expected to survive. Games platform Roblox came back online last night after a nearly three-day downtime thought to be in relation with Chipotle's partnership with the platform. However, Roblox assures it was due to an unrelated internal issue. Roblox is no stranger to downtimes, as 40 plus million daily users can cause some server issues at times. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room will be closed Tuesday, November 2nd because of the staff day. Please see Coach Hayes with any questions. There will be an informational and sign-up meeting for Boys and Girls Indoor Track on Thursday, November 4th after school at 320 in Mr. Carr's room B33. If you are unable to attend, please see Mr. Carr for more information. For those of you who don't know, the county legislator adopts policies and helps keep our county running smoothly. For county legislators in District 3, the candidates are Tim Burtis, Peter Nazarenko, and Matt Johnson. Tim Burtis believes in making our town a more attractive place for business and wants to increase employment. He also wants to improve our infrastructure. We're lucky to have a special guest on today's show, an ESM alum who is running for county legislator. Let's welcome Matt Johnson. Let's welcome Matt to the show. There, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Now, Matt, you're running for county legislator. Is that something you've always wanted to do? No, no, I haven't wanted to. I didn't think I would be running for anything. You know, 20 years old, um, I didn't think I'd be running for anything so young, but um, it's something that I felt someone needed to do, so I decided to run. Yeah, and out of all your experience, I know you've had a lot of experience. Can you tell me about, like, your experience with Tilly's Touch in a, as a medical interpreter? Yeah, so... Um, I am a certified medical interpreter with the Spanish Action League of Onondaga County. Um, so I interpret for Spanish-speaking patients at local hospitals and local doctor's offices. Um, I serve as Vice President of Tilly's Touch. It's a local nonprofit. Uh, we hold an annual schools plug giveaway over in East Syracuse where we've handed out over 600 backpacks for the past decade filled with school supplies to kids that go to ESM oh, wow. um, throughout the entire district. Um, and we also have our own travel soccer program, um, and we do a bunch of other stuff during the year too. And it helps kids who are like, can't isn't it like can't afford sports equipment and everything? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the um, that was the original intent, and we still do that. And it's sort of growing though from that too, where we just have a lot more of a purpose, and we do a lot more. So it's it's great. And as an ESM alum from here, is there anyone who influenced you to go into politics from here, or have you just always? Wanted to do it yourself? Um, I, so I was actually working on political campaigns while I was a student at ESM. Um, during my senior year, I managed Rita Paniago's campaign for Syracuse Common Councilor at large. Um, and so what that means is it was a citywide election for Syracuse's city council. And we had to, we forced a primary because the Democratic Party had chosen two other folks. Um, and so we ran a campaign and the election was in June, right around graduation time. And we won, and we weren't oh. supposed to win. Oh, and wow. And so we were, she was the top vote getter, um, and she beat two incumbents, and she was not supposed to win. So it was, I've been involved in politics for some time now, and. Um, Did she, like, motivate you to? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's a go-getter. She's, um, she's great. She's always been in my corner. The day I, you know, before I wanted to run for this, I, um, I you know, I was in contact with her, and um, she's, she's great. She definitely gave me some motivation. And now, right now, soon the campaign's tomorrow, or not the campaign, the election's tomorrow. So do you have any of your current plans ahead 
if hopefully you were to win tomorrow in the current place? Um, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm still a college student. I'm sure you hear every college student doesn't know what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in that same boat. Um, but I'm excited. Um, I've knocked on over 3,000 doors. My team total has knocked on 4,000 doors. Um, talking to people, getting them engaged with local politics. So, um, you know, I, it is definitely going to be a close election. Yeah. Um, and I hope it pans out. And if it doesn't, well, life will continue. But, you know. Well, I know we all here, we wish you the best of luck. Okay. And thank definitely. You on. Of yes, course. thank you. And uh, let's head on over to sports. Today we'll have a high of 53 degrees and a low of 39. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 50 and a low of 35. Wednesday will also be cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 37 degrees. In the upcoming election, there will be a new mayor, supervisors, justices, clerks, and county legislators chosen. Mayor Ben Walsh is running against Democrat Talid Bey and Republican Janet Berman. For the town of Manlius, John Deere is running against Richard Rossetti for supervisor. Allison Weber is running for clerk unopposed. And James Hughes and David Rothschild are running for justice. For the town of DeWitt, Ed Mikenlenko is running unopposed for supervisor. Angela Esposito is running unopposed for clerk. And Margaret Driscoli and Sam Young are running for justice. We'll talk more about who's running for county, or we already did. So we're going to go to weather. Syracuse Orange football team beat Boston College 21-6 on Saturday. Sean Tucker had 26 carries for 207 yards and one touchdown. And it was a good day for backup quarterbacks in the NFL as four of them led their teams to victory. Those quarterbacks were Geno Smith of the Seattle Seahawks, Mike White of the New York Jets, Trevor Simeon of the New Orleans Saints, and Cooper Rush of the Dallas Cowboys. After three games over the weekend, the Atlanta Braves have a 3-2 lead and are one win away from being champions. The Braves won three games and four to take a 3-1 to one lead in the series, and the Houston Astros live to fight another day as they win Game 5 and send the series back to Houston after a 9-5 to five win last night. Game 6 is on Tuesday. And in the NBA, there are six teams left with a 5-1 to one record. Those teams are the Knicks, the Heat, the Wizards, the Bulls, the Jazz, and the Warriors. And now on to Luke with your ESM Sports. Spartan Marching Band finished their season with a score of 89.75 at the Carrier Dome. The Marching Band had an awesome performance and a great season. They look to carry this momentum into their Winter Guard and the Winter Percussion seasons. If you're interested in performing in the Indoor Percussion Group, please reach out to Mr. Vega or register online at esmmarchingband.org. The boys volleyball team lost to St. Joseph Collegiate on Friday 3-0. Girls soccer lost to New Hartford 5-3 for the sectional finals. Natalie Peterson, Leah Rem, and Angelina Paul Carroll all scored a goal. Assist by Natalie Peterson and Leah Rem. The boys soccer team won against Central Square 2-0 and are Class A sectional champions. Todd Durantini led the team with a goal and an assist. Joel Alvarez scored another goal for the Spartans and Parker Amble had an assist. And I am Luke with your sports. Well ESM, that's all we have for you today. Like I said, we wish Matt Johnson the best of luck. Thank you for being here again. Of course. And have a great day.